So here you can see that I got a quiz uh, project right over here. So you can see that there's multiple choice question, there's true or false, and there's reading scale, and finally the result. If we were to go on to the properties, in the properties, you can see right over here that I got uh, Adobe as the right answer. And then in the quiz, it is worth 14 points. And this is going to be true. Uh, the answer is true right over here. And this is six point right over here. Then we got a rating skill and finally the result. So what we want to do is we want to incorporate this into SCORM Cloud so that we can share it with other learners or users and collect data uh, of their result right over there. So to do that now, we need to publish our project first as a zip file. And to do that, I'm going to go to file and then I'm going to click on publish right over here. So I'm going to publish this as an HTML5 SWF over here. So I'm just going to select HTML5 because that is what you want to uh, work around with because that is a standard these days. So uh, over here in the project title, I'm just going to leave it as test project right over here. And then I can click more to see other options. So uh, not going to worry about the other settings much over here, but we're going to talk about e-learning output because this is how you work around with SCORM. And SCORM is selected by default because this is what I usually use. So I'm just going to click over here and even if it is inactive, you'll get to the same window after this. So once you click on this, uh, if yours is disabled, then your, yours will just be disabled like this and everything will turn out to be gray. But if you want to enable it, simply click on enable reporting to this project and this will be the case right over here. So in LMS, I'm just going to select other standard um, LMS because I'm publishing this to SCORM and then I'm going to choose SCORM 1.2 right over here. You can also configure just like that as you can see. So I'm just going to change out the title of the course as test tutor mm, tube project right over here. So I'm just going to say test tutor tube project and press OK. So over here you can see, uh, see here it's send tracking data at the end. You can also see um, different options right over here. So you want to report status like complete or incomplete right over here. The success completion criteria, as you can see, which you can uh, add in, for example, quizzes passed or attempted or failed and so forth. So now what I'm just going to do is keep it as it is, just like this. And then you can see that um, on success completion slide views, uh, quizzes passed, so these all will be reported right over here. And interaction data, that is the choices made by the student will be reported. The student or user will be re reported as well. So I'm just going to go on to advanced section as well. And here it says send data uh, on every slide. So if you uh, you want uh, SCORM to send uh, the, the project to send uh, data to SCORM on every slide, you can do this. So if you want to track out the students or learners right over here, then this is an option that you can enable just like that. So after you verify all of the uh, option right over here, simply press OK right over here. And I'm going to deploy this as a zip file. Remember that out and I'm exporting this onto desktop. So once the settings are all done, I'm just going to click on publish right over here and I'm going to uh, just overwrite it just like that. And I uh, can see right over here that it has been published right over here, just like that. So it is, it has been published as a zip file. So I'm just going to press OK and I'm going to close out Captivate now. I'm just going to save the project just in case, just like that. So once I do that, uh, I, I'll have to go to my web browser. So you can use any web browser of your choice and then log into your SCORM uh, cloud account. So for that, you have to go to scorm.com. And if you haven't made your account already, you can make it there. Uh, it is free to do so. And this is one of the services which lets you uh, deploy Captivate projects and send it to other people. So over here, I've already logged into my account on cloud.scorm.com, as you can see. And over here on my main homepage, I can click on add content, as you can see. So on content, you can see that there's import a SCORM, AICC uh, and other packages right over here. So I'm just going to click on that until I get to the page where I can upload my project right over here. So once uh, the project will be uploaded, so you can see that it is loading out uh, the file right over here, right? So now 
it, it has been loaded. So now what I'm simply going to choose is I'm going to click on browse and select the test project right over here and then press open just like that and simply import out the course over here. So once I import out the course, you can see that it is uploading the course right here. And depending on your internet speed, it might take a while. So I'm just going to uh, skip this part right over here. And it has uh, completed uploading, as you can see, just like that. And this is the test tutorial project, the one that we uploaded, as you can see. And this is what we get to. So we can test out the project first before we send it out to other users by clicking on launch right over here. And that will take us to a new page where uh, the test out project will happen. So I'm just going to launch the course right over here, just like that. And then the project will open up just like this, as you can see. And this will is the project that we made in Adobe Captivate right over here. So it's loading out just like this. And what we're going to do is we're going to test out if everything works out well, just like that. So it's loading out as you can see. So depending on your internet connection speed, again, it might take some time. And it has been loaded, so I'm just going to click on play. You can see that there's multiple choice question. So I'm just going to uh, like choose an in a correct question for this one. So Adobe right over here is the Photoshop's company. I'm just going to submit it. Click anywhere to continue. So that's working fine. Photo editing is a photo editing software. So I'm just going to click on true right over here. Uh, maybe false. Okay, submit it. That's incorrect as it says it. And I can choose my survey results right over here, submit it out right over here, and I got my results. So I'm just going to continue that out and it closes up, as you can see, just like that. So now once I close it, I'll get back to my page right over there, just like that. And now this is how the reporting happens. So you can see that there's the completion, there's my score and total time it took me to complete is one a minute and nine seconds right over here. So I know it's working fine, so I can share it with other people now. And to do that, simply click on share and click on invite. So you can do a private invitation and invite each people by email, or you can do a public invitation that actually generates a link. So we're just going to do a public invitation right over here. So once we choose a public invitation, let me create an invitation right over here, just like that. So it created a URL, as you can see, and others will be able to access your course content from this URL. So I just copied this out. So I'm just going to go around here and click on new private window so that it seems as if I'm uh, using someone else, I'm using PC as someone else. So I'm just going to go around and type in uh, that and it, it's, uh, it asks the email address as you can see right over here. So I'm just going to type in, let's say for example, tutortube2 at outlook.com, uh, tutortube right over here and tutortube just like that. Okay, not going to worry about all these. So I'll click here to accept our terms and condition. Now take me to my training. So I'm just going to go around over here and access the content. So other users will be able to um, attempt this test now. So they'll click launch the course right over here, just like that. And they'll be attempting the course as uh, they would normally, and you would normally see it in the preview over here. Only thing is that their record and like their content will be recorded and you'll be able to view them. So now they'll be able to do this. So Photoshop is made by let's say for example uh, adobe itself so that's going to be submit they'll be able to see this right over here so photoshop is a photo editing software let me choose an incorrect answer right over here just like that adobe apps are good for design so very agree so that's going to be agree and adobe apps are easy to use somewhat disagree office tools can be used as designing tools so neutral right over here and submit it out they'll be able to see this results right over here and then they'll be able to close this out. So you can see that they have attempted out right over here. So just like that, what happens is that they'll be able to close that out and it is it'll, it is reported right over here. So they said, thanks for training today. Here are your results right over here. So 
that's due to do project the completion rate is done score is 70 percent 55 and they can relaunch the course as well so then they can also make a scorn a scorn cloud account and sign up as well so it has been reported right over here so now let's get back to our main account right over here and let's see how that actually looks like so let me get back right over here and let's see the result right over here if uh, we can see what the other users actually attempted right over here. So let me just refresh the page right here all together, just like that to see uh, it out. So let's refresh the page right over here and you'll be able to see the content. So over here, uh, to see the content, just scroll down and then over here, you can see that to tube two, two, you can see the details right over here. So now we know that the project is completed. The score is 70 right over here. Total time is 55 seconds. So let me just see the detail. You can also export this to CSV. That is, it comes in Excel file format. So you can see right over here that um, the person has scored 70% and you can see that it took them 55 minutes right over here. So start time was this and end time was this right over here. Uh, so over here, completion is true. Project status is true. So they had one attempt and not suspended at all. So if you were to see activity objective, you can see that there's the measure details over here as well. And you can see the course objective details right over here to see what they entered in each round as well. So you can see right over here that there's activity perspective, runtime data, everything all given in detail right over here. So these are the interaction option right over here, as you can see. So now the first one, as you can see, uh, is Photoshop is made by. So this was a type that the user responded uh, with. The weightage was 14 right over here and the result turned out to be correct once the user chose it. The other one right over here is a photo editing software. It's a true or false type question. Weightage was six and the response was false. That means the result was incorrect as you can see right over here. And over here are the survey results, as we can see. So indicate how strongly you agree and disagree with the following. Adobe apps are good for design. Uh, so user responded, agree. Uh, Autodesk apps are uh, easy to use. So this is somewhat disagree. And then uh, indicate how strongly you uh, agree or disagree with, with the following. MS Office can be used for designing tool and that was neutral. And this is how you can see the entire detail of how you can see it out. So you can go around here and see um, out the details just like this, as you can see, and you can go to report section right over here to see everything like interactions, as you can see right over here. So there's five interaction level on the report, like there's course objective, there's like agree, somewhat disagree, neutral right over here, there's course that objective course of the title, like this one is false. It took them like, for example, like seven seconds for the first slide, then four seconds. So you can see all the details per um, interaction as you can see right over here. And that is how you can integrate uh, Adobe Captivate project in SCORM Cloud account and see all the details and deploy your project. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.